Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Forest at Duke trivia session. My name is Kelsey Fry. I will be your host this afternoon for trivia. We have a bit of a grab bag for today with questions from history, sports, film. Um, all questions are multiple choice. And as always, we will not be collecting answer sheets. This is something just for fun, but feel free to grab a pen and paper and we'll go through all the questions once and then again at the end to check your answers. So we will go ahead and get started. Our first question for today. Tony and Maria were the lead characters in what Broadway musical that premiered in 1957? Was it A, Guys and Dolls, B, The King and I, C, West Side Story, or D, High Society? Question two. What does an anemometer measure? Is it A, wind speed, B, humidity, C, rainfall, or D, pressure? Question three, known for his hits, in, known for hits, excuse me, including Crazy and Walking After Midnight, this country singer died in a plane crash in 1963. Was it A, The Big Bopper, B, Buddy Holiday, or I'm sorry, Buddy Holly, C, Patsy Klein or D. George Jones? Question four. What is the only king in a deck of cards without a mustache? Is it A. The King of Diamonds? B, the king of spades, C, the king of clubs, or D, the king of hearts. Question number five. What is the little dot above a lowercase i or j called? Is it A, a dripple, B, a tittle, C, a wit, or D, a jot? Question number six. What was the highest denomination bill ever printed in the United States? Is it A, the thousand dollar bill? B, the ten thousand dollar bill? C, a hundred thousand dollar bill? Or D, one million dollar bill? Question seven, Dick Clark introduced her song, Who's Sorry Now, on American Bandstand in 1958, catapulting her to success. Name that artist. Who is that artist they're referencing? Is it A, Doris Day, B, Peggy Lee, 
C, Connie Francis, or D, June Christie? Question eight. Hurricanes only form over, is it A, cold water, B, warm water, C, cold land, or D, warm land? Question nine. In golf, what do you call a score of four under par on any given hole? Is it A, an eagle? B, a pelican? C, a vulture? Or D, a condor? Question 10, what real animal was used to make the T-Rex roar in Jurassic Park? Was it A, an alligator? B, a tiger? C, an elephant? Or D, all of the above? Question 11, what is the longest movie ever made? Is it A, Hamlet? B, The Stand? C, The Cure for Insomnia? Or D, Dances with Wolves? Question 12, Elvis made his movie debut in 1956. In what film? Was it A, Love Me Tender? B, The Rainmaker? C, Charo? Or D, Viva Las Vegas? Question number 13, what percentage of the Nile River is located in Egypt? Is it A, 9%, B, 22%, C, 83%, or D, 100%? Question 14, who is the most decorated Olympian of all time? Is it A, Pavo Nermi? B, Mary Lou Retton? C, Carl Lewis? Or D, Michael Phelps? Question number 15, what object commonly appears in Picasso's paintings? Is it A, a guitar? B, a clock? C, the sun? Or D, an apple? Question number 16, what U.S. state contains the world's largest flat top mountain? Is it A, Wyoming? B, Colorado? C, Utah? Or D, Arizona?
Question 17. How fast can a hummingbird flap its wings? Is it A, 15 flaps per second? B, 50 flaps per second? C, 80 flaps per second? Or D, 600 flaps per second? Question number 18. What is the name of Holly's cat in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Is it A, Minerva? B, Rhubarb? C, Cat? Or D, Kook? Question 19, who was the only person in NBA history to be named most valuable player, coach of the year, and executive of the year? Is it A, Michael Jordan? B, Bill Russell? C, Larry Bird? Or D, Phil Jackson? And question 20, our last question. How many patents did Thomas Edison accumulate during his lifetime? Is it A, 25? B, 85? C, 1,093? Or D, 2,332? All right, and here are some answers. Let's see how you did. Question one was, Tony and Maria were the lead characters in what Broadway musical that premiered in 1957? And the answer is C, West Side Story. This Broadway, is set in the Upper West Side of New York City in the mid-1950s. With its dark theme, sophisticated music, extended dance scenes, and focus on social problems, it marked a turning point in American musical theater. The production was nominated for six Tony Awards, including Best Musical in 1958. Question two, what does an anemometer measure? And the answer is A, wind speed. The anemometer has changed little since its development in the 15th century. Leon Alberti is said to have invented the first mechanical anemometer around 1450. And there's a picture here of an anemometer. All right, next question, question three. Known for hits, including Crazy and Walking After Midnight, this country singer died in a plane crash in 1963. And the answer is C, Patsy Cline. On March 5th, 1963, country music stars Patsy Cline, Cowboy Copas, and Hawksaw Hawkins were killed in an airplane crash near Camden, Tennessee. Question four, what is the only king in a deck of cards without a mustache? And the answer is D, the king of hearts. And there's a picture of all the kings here on the screen. 
diamonds, clubs, and spades are by association linked respectively with, corrup with corruption of wealth, war, and death. In contrast, the heart as an organ is pure, open, and undisguised. Hence, the clean-shaven king of hearts. There's a little history behind a deck of cards. Question five. What is the little dot above a lowercase i or j called? And the answer is B, a tittle. The tittle, or also known as a superscript dot, was originally a large marker first appearing in Latin manuscripts, but was shortened when Roman style typefaces were introduced. It is thought to be derived from the iota, the smallest letter in the Greek alphabet, which was used as a diacritic below other vowels in ancient Greek texts. Question six, what was the highest denomination bill ever printed in the United States? And the answer is C, the $100,000 bill. The highest current denomination is the $100 bill. The highest bill ever printed, however, was the $100,000 note that is seen here on the screen. It was printed from December 18, 1934 to January 9, 1935. It was used only for official transactions between Federal Reserve banks. And as you can see, President Woodrow Wilson was pictured on the front. Question number seven. Dick Clark introduced her song, Who's Sorry Now, on American Bandstand in 1958. This catapulted her to success. Who was that artist? And the answer is C, Connie Francis. So did you know, a little fact about Miss Francis, she considered a career in medicine and was about to accept a four-year scholarship at NYU when her father insisted she record a cover version of the 1923 song, Who's Sorry Now? In April of 1958, that cover reached number one on the UK singles charts and number four in the U.S. For the next four years, Frances was voted the best female vocalist by American bandstand viewers. Question eight. Hurricanes only form over? And the answer is B, warm water. So hurricanes are compared to giant engines that use warm, moist air as fuel, which is why they're only ever formed over warm ocean waters. Question number nine. In golf, what do you call a score of four under par on any given hole? And the answer is D, a condor. A condor is the name for a score of four under par. There have only been four verified condors. All were hole-in-ones on par five. Question 10, what real animal was used to make the T-Rex roar in Jurassic Park? And the answer is D. All of those animals were used, an alligator, a tiger, and an elephant. The T-Rex roar is a combination of the baby elephant's squeal, an alligator's gurgling, and a tiger's snarl. Its breath is the sound of air escaping from a whale's blowhole. Now you know what was used to make the, the dinosaur roar. Question 11, 
What is the longest movie ever made? And the answer is C, The Cure for Insomnia. It was made in 1987, and its running time was 85 hours, which is also 5,220 minutes. The Cure for Insomnia premiered in its entirety at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago, Illinois. It lasted from January 31st to February 3rd, 1987. Question 12. Elvis made his movie debut in 1956 in what film? And the answer is A, Love Me Tinder. On November 15, 1956, Love Me Tinder, featuring the singer Elvis Presley in his big screen debut, premiered in New York City at the Paramount Theater. And there's a picture here of one of the movie posters featuring Elvis. Question 13, what percentage of the Nile River is located in Egypt? And the answer is B, 22%. Although it's generally associated with Egypt, only 22% of the Nile's course runs through Egypt. And there's a map here showing full Nile River and various countries that it runs through. And as you can see, just at the very top is the Egypt portion. Question 14, who is the most decorated Olympian of all time? And the answer is D, Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is an American former competitive swimmer and the most successful and most decorated Olympian of all time. He has a total of 28 medals. He also holds all-time records for most Olympic gold medals, most Olympic gold medals in individual events, and Olympic medals in individual events. Question 15, what object commonly appears in Picasso's paintings? And the answer is A, the guitar. Although his cubist works approach abstraction, Picasso never relinquished the objects of the real world as subject matter. Prominent in his cubism paintings are forms easily recognized as guitars, violins, and bottles. And there's um, a picture or three pictures here of various Picasso paintings, all of which you can find a guitar in. Question 16, what U.S. state contains the world's largest flat top mountain? And the answer is B, Colorado. The Great Mesa in Colorado is the largest flat top mountain in the world. It encompasses hundreds of square miles and it stands more than 10,000 feet above sea level. And there's a picture here. You can kind of see it from a distance. Question 17, how fast can a hummingbird flap its wings? And the answer is C, 80 flaps per second. Did you know the highest recorded wing beats for wild hummingbirds during hovering is 88 per second? It's measured for the purple-throated wood star which is the hummingbird seen there on the screen. Question 18, what is the name of Holly's cat in Breakfast at Tiffany's? And the answer is C, cat. 
Pat is more or less a stray who adopted Holly as his own. Unfortunately, Holly really can't or won't develop any sort of emotional attachment to anything or anyone. So she doesn't give the cat an actual name. He simply remains cat. And there's a picture here from the movie of Holly and cat. Question 19, who was the only person in NBA history to be named most valuable player, coach of the year, and executive of the year? And the answer is C, Larry Bird. Drafted into the NBA sixth overall by the Boston Celtics in 1978, Larry Bird played his entire professional career for Boston winning three NBA championships and two NBA Finals MVP awards. He then served as head coach of the India, Indiana Pacers from 1997 to 2000. In 2003, he assumed the role of president of basketball operations for the Pacers. And question 20. Our last question, how many patents did Thomas Edison accumulate during his lifetime? And the answer is D, 2,332. He accumulated those 2,332 patents worldwide for his inventions. 1,093 of his patents were here in the U.S. All right, so that wraps it up for today. Um, we hope you had fun and enjoyed this week's trivia, kind of a mixture of a lot of different things. Um, and we hope to see you on the next edition. So thanks so much and have a great afternoon.